हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष विखार एंड टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द टॉपिक फॉल्ट फाइंडिंग ऑफ टू व्हीलर फॉल्ट फाइंडिंग ऑफ टू व्हीलर इज अ पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट पावर इंजीनियरिंग एंड रेफ्रिजरेशन बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टू द लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू अपील यू ऑल टू विजिट माई यूट्यूब चैनल to subscribe my youtube channel and my youtube channel name is knowledge link in the bracket dr ashish vikhar for more information you can hit my website www.dr.drvikhar.com so let us start the lecture which are the faults inside the two wheeler which are the common faults that we observe inside the two wheeler <coughs> everybody nowadays has a two wheeler it may be a bike or a scooter though you are a student and we will observe that most of the students comes to the college with their bikes or a scooter so what are the problems associated with such type of two wheelers bikes or two wheeler common problems that we are going to discuss today and what are should be the remedies to overcome such type of problems the most common problem or common complaint regarding two wheeler or four wheeler or any kind of vehicle is low mileage so what are the quali- what are the reasons behind getting low mileage or what are the causes behind the low mi- mileage of a scooter bike or any kind of vehicle the first cause is low pressure in the tires low pressure in the tires can greatly reduce fuel efficiency tires require air to stay in proper shape so we have to check the pressure once every month or whenever you experience sluggish engine response so if we check pressure inside the rear wheel as well as the front wheel we can have good mileage and this is one of the cause behind getting low mileage low pressure in the tire second reason is dirty engine oil so dirty engine oil can also reduce efficiency or it can lead to low mileage dirty oil can become thick and resist to to movements of the parts in the engine we all know what is the purpose of engine oil engine oil is used inside the two wheeler to reduce friction to maintain the temperature of the engine as well as well so after prolonged use of engine oil we have to change it and we have to check whether it has a proper thickness or what we can say viscosity so if we do not follow this rule then we can have a low mileage so dirty oil can become thick proper uh, properly thick or it may lose its properties while working so we have to check every time how is the situation of dirty oil third reason is carburetor tuning carburetor tuning also needs to be checked carburetors basically have two screws and engine idle rpm screw and air fuel mixture screw the air fuel screw adjusts the ratio of air versus fuel going in, inside the engine so more air and less fuel means better efficiency but lower performance and vice versa the trick is to find the right balance of both performance and efficiency if you don't have an idea on this you can ask the mechanic to set the carburetor for its tuning so proper carburetor tuning is needed for getting good efficiency as well as good performance so we have to adjust the screw of the carburetor for getting good efficiency and the performance third reason behind getting low mileage is tight brakes when the brakes are too tight it can increase the effort needed by the engine to turn the wheel to turn the wheels 
placed the bike in a neutral and on the center stand and manually rotated the wheel they must be able to rotate freely and without much effort if the front and the rear tires are hard to rotate loosen the brakes by a notch and try again if it's a disc brake you need take it to the company workshop to the to check the tight brakes so tight brakes is one of the reason behind getting low mileage riding styles can also affect the efficiency if you rushly drive the vehicle then the efficiency reduces the mileage reduces carbon deposits <coughs> ridden for over 30000 to 50000 kilometers as possible reason for low efficiency could be carbon deposits on the piston and other components so we should remove the carbon deposits after that we can have good mileage of the vehicle next reason is wall setting a mechanic would need to check the walls for clearance there is an intake and exhaust walls and with time the wall clearance can become different from the factory recommendation so we have to check the wall settings if we check it it and if it is in proper condition then we can have good mileage after that the next reason behind getting low mileage is improper brake in all motorcycles need to be ridden well with a specified speed and engine rpm and if we do not follow the ride uh, rules the specified speed or if you are running your engine beyond its limit of rpm then we can have the low mileage so these are the various reasons behind getting low mileage second problem with a vehicles or two wheelers or four, four wheelers is poor performance so first reason behind the poor performance is poor per performance is air filter the air filter should be cleaned every time and the bike is given for service considering our dusty riding condition so air filter playing a very important role in the performance of two wheelers as well as four wheeler fuel quality poor quality of fuel can also be reason for poor performance different pumps have different mixture mix, mix, mixture uh, methods that claim to deliver better performance so we should use good quality fuel warm ups when properly warmed up in the morning of your vehicle you will note that the engine feels better and performs performs well for the whole day so warming of the engine should be done before getting start to our work to a two hour work with the help of your vehicle so warm up of the vehicle plays an important role for getting higher performance tire pressure as in the previous slide also this is an important aspect and uh, as the tire pressure is low the rolling free resistance increases this lowers the performance as well as the efficiency low engine oil no doubt running an engine on low oil can lead to serious damage to the engine components and in some cases can also result in seized pistons and other parts chain slack a slacking chain can make engine response feel poor and can also reduce the acceleration if you hear a lot of chain noise or noise from the chain cover it's time to grease it and tighten it so these are the reasons behind poor performance third important problem with the two wheeler is bad brakes there are two types of brakes drum brakes and disc brakes regarding drum brakes if you face a poor braking on the drum brakes at the rear or front of the bike you must check for free play of the brake lever or a pedal another reason for poor drum brake performance can be dirty brake pads so dirty brake pads is one of the important cause behind the bad braking and built up of brake dust if you happen to notice the squeezing squeaking noise every time you apply the brakes it may be a time to replace the brake pads if your vehicle is having disc brakes then if you happen to face a poor disc brake performance then we have to not worry it's nothing that can be fixed firstly check for brake fluid levels and whether it is filled up well so by that we can have the good braking also if you happen 
to notice weird metal scraping noises coming from the disc brakes even when you have or not applying the brakes it's about time to replace the brake pads so replacing the brake pads can improve the braking performance fourth important proper uh, pro problem is electric starter fails the behind that one of the cause is battery level the battery may have run out of acid which have which must have reduced its efficiency if you notice that the starter works once you start riding for a long time but doesn't when you try in the morning get the battery acid level checked so we have to check the battery acid levels whenever there is a necessity starter relay is another problem or a cause behind electric starter fails why electric starter fails because there is a problem of starter relay starter relay is a part of electric system that provides current to the starter sometimes a failure of this component can stop the starter from working if you hear just a tick noise from the starter every time you press the starter button it may be either because of low battery or falling off failing starter relay so in this way these are the two major reasons or causes behind electric why electric starter fails so we have to keep in our mind some of the important things first is warm ups warm up the engine well in the morning before you need out before you head out for a journey this can help lot in extending engine life and the performance check tire pressure once a month inspect the tires for signs of low pressure keep them topped up for the best chains if you notice the chain noise or loosens looseness simply get the chain tightened it just a matter of 10 minutes at the most periodic service note that most bikes or scooters have a service interval of around 2500 to 5000 kilometers be sure to visit the service station in the specified intervals check the manual to know more about your motorcycle service and engine oil change interval avoid cheap parts many cheap parts are available in the market we have to use parts of standard quality and company recommended parts if the in case a part does not go bad avoid replacing it with a cheap alternatives or quick fixes it always be recommended to use original spare parts so these are the few things if you re you should remember for getting good performance from your bike or two wheeler thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel knowledge link dr ashish vikhar thank you